Iran has warned Israel of a larger attack if it retaliated against the overnight drone and missile attack, while warning United States not to back Israeli military action. Armed Forces Chief of Staff Major General Mohammad Bagheri said that Tehran has warned Washington that any backing of Israeli retaliation would result in U.S. bases being targeted. He said, and I'm quoting from the statement, our response will be much larger than tonight's military action if Israel retaliates against Iran. The commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Hussein Salami also warned Tehran would retaliate against any Israeli attack on its interests, officials or citizens. According to reports, U.S. President Joe Biden has told Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that U.S. would not aid any Israeli counter-attack on Iran. Now, some American media reports had earlier stated that Biden said the United States would not take part in any such counter-action. IRGC Chief General Salami warned that Operation True Promise is a prominent example for enemies to learn, adding that dozens of drones missiles were able to break apparently deep layers of Israeli defense. Now, for more on this, we are being joined by Jody Cohen on the phone line from Israel. Jody, how is Israel reading into this statement that has come in by IRGC warning against a retaliatory action by Israel? So it's too early to say right now, but as you said, Iran has warned Israel against any retaliation and warned of a larger attack against Israel if Israel retaliates. And we've also um, heard that Iran has said that if the U.S. joins in in any counterattack, then Iran would also target the United States. Now, according to media reports, we've heard two different media reports. Firstly, there's one that says the U.S. has said that they won't participate in a counterattack. And another one that is suggesting that the Israel would oppose a counterattack. So they're quite different. So it remains to be seen what is decided. We know that Israel's war cabinet is going to be meeting later this afternoon, and perhaps that uh, meeting will finish uh, late tonight, Indian time, and they're going to be discussing Israel's response. Israel's reportedly weighing its response. Um, military experts are suggesting that uh, what we've seen over the past you know, 12 or so hours is a significant shift in Iran's strategy. This is the first time that Iran has directly attacked Israeli soil, although Israel has said that um, Iran has been attacking Israel for years through its proxies, and also through attempted attacks like targeting Israeli embassies, such as the one in Delhi, and also targeting Israelis abroad. So it remains to be seen what the um, decision will be of Israel in terms of any response. But Israel has also requested that the UN Security Council holds an emergency meeting, and that's also taking place later on on Sunday. And we'll have to wait and see what's decided in terms of an Israeli response. Absolutely, Jody. Thank you so much for joining us from Renana and getting us all those updates. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.